Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the Infosys DSC interview experience, that is Digital Specialist Engineer interview experience. The candidate for which I will be discussing this interview experience was from IT branch, and he is a selected candidate. So he has been, the interview experience that I am sharing is of a selected candidate. And guys, previously also many DSC as well as many Infosys related interview experiences have been posted on my channel. You can find all those interview experiences that is Infosys SC slash DSC slash SP interview experiences. You can find under this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box. So if you are preparing for any of these profiles in Infosys, then you can find your interview experiences under this playlist. The links you will get in the i button or in the description box. And guys, from past few days, many of you have requested me to take the mock interviews for Infosys hiring. So guys, here I am. I am taking the mock interviews for Infosys system engineer as well as for Infosys digital specialist engineer role for both, both these roles. We at Codebashers, Codebashers are taking the interview experiences. So guys, kindly visit the link that is given in the description box and book your slot because slots are very limited. You can see here if you will click on any of the date, only two to three slots are left for that day only. So now the interviews have starting from the Infosys DSC profile. So make sure that you book your slot as soon as possible because these are limited slots. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 11th November 2021. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was 30 minutes. And guys, this interview experience is of a selected candidate. So make sure that you watch this video in the end and do not skip any question that have been asked in this interview. Okay, so first question was, the question was, tell me about yourself. And guys, believe me that this will be very important question as per your interview's concern. Because many of the questions that you will answer about yourself in this particular question will depend that what you are saying in the interview. So many of the questions can be formed from the answer that you will give for this question. So kindly prepare this question very well. You can include your internships, your skills, your projects, your extracurricular activities. All these things you can include about yourself in this particular question, but include only those things in which you are comfortable in. Do not include anything which you do not know because there are questions that can be asked from this answer. So I hope this question is clear to you and you will give this answer very uh, nicely to the interviewer. So now move, moving ahead to the next question. Next question was write a program to print Fibonacci series. So it's again in the DSC profile and the SP profile for both this profile coding questions are asked in the interview. Many of you will be asked to share your screen and write the question that will be given to you. So yes, coding questions will be asked from you in this particular profile that is a DSC profile. So write a program to print Fibonacci series. So as I, again, I will give you the link of this, this program in the description box make sure to visit this link if you do not know next question is again the next question was write a program to find the factorial by recursion now there are many ways of finding the factorial of a number but they asked specifically that that you should you should find the factorial of a number by recursion so again i will give you the link of this program in the description box make sure to visit it if you do not know the answer guys in dsc profile again i am saying coding questions will be asked from you but the level of the questions will be average but in sp profile the level of the question will be hard because the package is high so again for both these files you must be confident in writing basic coding questions so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is again a programming question write a program to check whether string is palindrome or not so again i will uh, the uh, the, uh, the link to the answer I will give in the description box. Again, you can see that basic questions were asked in this particular uh, interview. So again, be prepared for such kind of coding question that will be asked from you. So this was again the question that was asked from him. Now moving to the next question. And guys, before moving to the next question, I would again like to remind that we have started taking mock interviews for Infosys Data Specialist role as well as for the Infosys System Engineer role. So again, you can book your slot by the uh, link that is given in the description box. Make sure that you book as soon as possible because the slots are very limited. You can see here per day only three slots are there. So these slots will be filling very fastly whenever I upload this video. So kindly make sure book, make sure to book your slot. Okay. Now move to the next question. Explain OOPS concepts and it, uh, explain the pillars of OOPS. So guys, there are total four pillars of OOPS. First one is encapsulation. Next one is abstraction. Then is inheritance. And last one is polymorphism. Again, guys, these are very important concepts as, as asked in the interview. I have made a dedicated video for this particular question in detail. In that, I have discussed each and every pillar in detail. 
plus i have discussed the coding part also for each of these things so guys please watch that video i will give you the video link in the i button as well in the in the description box make sure to visit that video and watch that video because this question is very much important for your interviews okay now with the next question that is what is normalization so guys again normalization is a term that is used in dbms <clears throat> sorry normalization is the process of organizing the data in the database normalization is used to minimize the redundancy that is we have many tables and many um, duplicate data is present in those tables so using normalization what we do we minimize the duplicate data now next point is normalization divides the larger table into smaller tables and these smaller tables are linked linked to each other so i hope the answer is clear to you that what is normalization so i hope this particular question is also clear to you okay now guys moving to the next question that is what is the difference between primary key and unique key now guys this is again a very important question see primary key is primary key yeah, is used to serve as a unique identifier for each row in a table unique key determines a row which isn't a primary key so see primary key is a separate thing and unique key is a separate thing in primary key the major difference between primary key and unique key is that in primary key the column value cannot accept null values cannot accept null values when it is a primary key but in unique key it can accept the null value the next major difference between these two items are the primary key can be only single primary key in a single table but there can be multiple unique keys in a single table so these are the major difference between the primary key and unique key i hope these things are clear to you first of all primary key cannot accept null values whereas unique key can and there is only one primary key in the table and there can be multiple unique key in the tables so i hope this particular difference is also clear to you now guys again we have take, started taking mock interviews for both the roles if you are interested in taking the mock interviews do visit the link in the description box and book your slot that is that are limited okay next question was again where do you see yourself after five years so guys these are very much commonly asked hr questions in an interview so here what you can do you can answer that uh, see i am hoping that you are a fresher that is giving an interview so what you can answer in this particular question is that that we are i am at the early stage in my career i do not know that what is uh, what is good for me so i will be entering into it industry i will be exploring more technologies and then i can decide after one to two years of experience i can decide that what i want in my life and where to head in which technology to head uh, in my life so i hope this particular question is clear to you and the answer is also clear to you you can answer these type of questions as per your um as per the things that you are comfortable in so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is are you willing to relocate so guys again it is a uh, it is a question that is dependent on you that whether you want to relocate or not so many of you will say yes many of you will say no but please give a valid reason that you why do why you do not want to relocate so these are all the questions which are asked from this candidate and the entire interview lasted for 30 minutes and this was an interview experience of an IT candidate who got selected for the DSC role. So I hope all the questions and answers were clear to you. And you will be preparing for your interviews in this manner only. And guys, if you are nervous about your interviews, then don't worry. Please give us the mock interviews. We can clear your doubts. We can we can tell you that how you have to answer the uh, answer in the interviews, and we can clear all the doubts that you have for yourself. So guys, this was all for this video. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching it and guys if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe it because more such videos will be coming your way on um, on these particular interview experiences. Guys thank you for watching this video.